Hey, I'm Erin Davey, and today I'm bringing to you an episode of Cozy Connectors. Here at Cozy Connectors, we're sharing some amazing digital tools that you can use to make art and express yourself. And the awesome thing is that they're all free, so right after this video, you can hop on and start playing with them. Now, I hope this makes your day, so let's get to the content. Today, I'm talking about the Wick Editor. It's an open source tool for making games, animations, and everything in between. Co-creators Zach Raspoli and Luca Damasco started development of the Wick Editor in 2016 as a replacement for Flash, but they found that it grew into a tool for anyone looking to create their first game or animation and beyond. Luca says, while the entry point is for beginners, we've designed the tool to adapt to more proficient users as well, so they shouldn't have to find another tool to make high quality advanced work. We don't want people to be forced to find another tool once they've outgrown it, which happens so often with other creative tools. To get started with the Wick Editor, head to their website, wickeditor.com, and simply click on the green Launch Editor button. You'll be met with a canvas, a timeline on the bottom, and a toolbar on the top. You can get right to drawing by picking the brush tool and dragging your mouse on the canvas. At the timeline, you can add layers to your animation or make the frames longer with a simple click and drag. You can highlight multiple strokes together to group them into a button or a clip. Buttons only have three frames, one for each of the button states, and clips have its own timeline that's independent from the main timeline, so therefore you can create animations on your clip timeline when the main timeline is paused. So, the cool thing about the Wick Editor is that I can handle custom JavaScript input. Click on a frame that you want to add a script to, go to the inspector on the right, and click Add Scripts. There, you can choose to add code to a selection of scripts that activate on certain conditions like mouse hover, key press, and unload. There's a small reference on the left that I found to be really handy. The Wick Editor is really suited for beginner creative coders as they don't have to worry too much about writing their own code. If you actually click on the options listed in the reference, the editor pastes code with the correct syntax where your cursor is located. A common frustration for beginner programmers is spelling and syntax, so removing this is super friendly for them. To learn more about the Wick Editor, you can find multiple tutorials created by the dev team. These tutorials cover topics from interactivity, text manipulation, sound, mouse events, and everything in between. They're short and to the point, so that you can get used to the tool very quickly. If you have more specific questions, you can check out the forum that's under the community tab on the website. Alright, that's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Erin Davey, and you can find me on Twitter at A-A-H underscore D-E-E -E underscore, or you can find me on Twitch at Cozy Coding, and you can catch my creative coding streams. I hope you have a really nice day, and I'll see you next time.